Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Another Make Fun Podcast. As the usual, I'm your host, Matt, and also the usual, joined by uh, Mike and Marcus. Hey. Or Marcus and Mike. Natural spring water. With triple M's, M's, M's cubed. Yeah, that. Math is hard. Anyway. Mm, I'm cool. waiting for a dick joke. Yeah, well, I was thinking about it, but I... I wasn't paying attention, I'm sorry. I was looking at your Tim Hortons cut. What'd you get in there? Did you get uh, a it was a double-double. With Wait, cream and sugar? For, hang on, hang on. For those of you who don't know, and I'm speaking to Americans because they don't know what this is. America. A double-double is two milks or cream, usually milk. I mean, usually cream, I apologize, with two sugars. I never get cream. Yeah. I'm, well, you always get milk. I don't drink coffee. Yeah. And if I did, I like it black. Okay, moving on. You're referring to that meme? I like my coffee how I like my men. Black. <laughs> I don't care. Or Marcus. I don't get... <laughs> I don't get coffee from tomorrow. Well, no, I get coffee, but I don't just get, like, regular coffee. Usually, like, a French vanilla. Or, like, a, or a, a pumpkin spice. No, you got to go to Starbucks to get that. That's where they make it. Oh, my God, you're such a white girl. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> but a French vanilla, it's just, like, a cup of sugar. I know I know what it is. But it's amazing. I mean, I know what it is. I've never had anything from Starbucks in my life. Yeah, it's not great. I walk into Starbucks, I look like a lost no, child. Mm-hmm. Remember that time I went to Starbucks? Oh, my your God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love the Starbucks. I love their drinks. Their food, though, it's real expensive and real bland. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, honestly, like, I walk into Starbucks, and, like, somebody next to me is like, I need an extra extra slim fat, you know, mocha grande latte or whatever. Extra Star- cream. Extra was, whatever like, this. Yeah. And I, I'm like, yeah, I'll get a, I'll get a medium coffee. And they're like, oh, okay, like a uh, a grande, whatever. They're, I don't even know. To Mike, give the example, Mike, have you ever had, have you ever had an ice cap? Yeah. So then you've had coffee. Kind oh, of. I've I've drank coffee before. Yes. Okay, so but I don't like it. You don't like ice caps? Not particularly. Wow. I'll have the cream chocolate chill because that's what I like to you know, stuff Here's on the top. Thing, like ice thing. caps. I'm pretty sure you give those to kids. I don't think you should be giving those to children. <laughs> Yeah, it's got a lot of caffeine in them. Also, for those of you who don't know, it's basically like a coffee slushy from Tim Hortons. Yeah. That Canadian nice cappuccino. Brand. Yeah, nice. Also in the states in Buffalo and in New York. Just imagine you Buffalo go to your Seven Eleven. There's a coffee flavored like I'm, I'm slushy in this city. Sorry, I know you did. Okay, cool. Moving on. I'm winking at Marks right now. Yeah, no you're, you're just picking your nose right now. Am I? You look like you're twitching. With my with my pinky finger. Mm-hmm. Hey guys, right up in there. This is a podcast about games. Oh, is it? Yeah. I thought we were the coffee. Nothing the first coffee. The first I love Mousetrap. It's my favorite game. That yeah. is a solid game. Do you have it? it, it? I, no, I don't no have actually, it. I'm lying. I hated Mousetrap. Really? It looked fun in the commercials. You would set it up. It would no, it would be so tedious, and then you never wanted to play the game because the actual game of Mousetrap sucks. It really does. You just yeah. wanted the trap to go off. You don't. Yeah, you don't play Mousetrap. You just watch the trap go off. It was it was boring. Monopoly's good for a game though. Take a good three days off and just play a game of nice. Monopoly. <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. <laughs> we'll get to that. Well, Monopoly's later. coming to Switch. I got it. Wait, what? Yeah, man. Yeah. They, this was announced like when they had that January event, but it's coming soon. Oh, See? I think, Perfect. Like, I think Ubisoft Monopoly. is working on it, right? Yeah, they have the. They do like the Hasbro Family Fun Pack, but this oh. one is just Monopoly. It's not. That's that's funny. It's because like a Switch, of, like made for Switch though. It it's mm-hmm. not. It's not made for. You want to know what it is? No, no. This isn't a port of it. It is made for Switch. They have a copy on PC already. Unless it's that no, but this one is. It's I don't. I believe I'm. I'm probably talking out of my ass, but I'm pretty sure this isn't the one that's already on in you the Hasbro to, Family Fun I Pack. No it's called. It's called Monopoly Plus. Mm. Like the I'm cross fact plus? check. The reason the Ooh. reason I know this is because I just bought it last week. <laughs> really? Yeah, I bought it on PC last Didn't week. Did you have Monopoly? Yeah, but we, I, uh, all of us were lazy, and there was like six of us sitting there playing nice. Monopoly for a couple hours. It was fun. You should just like done like a video chat like Monopoly. Class. I should have streamed it honestly. Yeah. That would have been so funny. Add Nightmare MC with two eyes. Yeah. Twitch.tv slash Nightmare MC. Yeah, Monopoly for Nintendo Switch. On let me the, see, let me see pictures website. and I'll tell you what it is. Hold yeah, on. Pictures don't exist. The Nintendo website's like, do you want to go to the Canadian website? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, do, 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 do. Now, because there's a break going on, do, do. enjoy the Wii Shop music. He's pulling up as we the speak. The world's favorite family game brand is coming, this from Nintendo's website, is coming to Nintendo's new console. Discover brand new lively 3D boards that live and evolve in front of your eyes as you progress in the game. Unlock exclusive new tokens and many more surprises. There are three different 3D boards that are waiting for you. You can now enjoy the game you know and love in a classic city, an amusement park, or a haunted town. Yeah, this is this is the one I was playing. Did it have HD rumble? Because this one does. <gasps> 
That's yeah, very, my, that's very my, important for Monopoly. My mouse yeah. key was rumbling. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, this is the exact same game I was playing on the on the PC. Really, Monopoly for Nintendo Switch because that's what it's called. I'm, Matt, I'll pull it up right now. I'll show you. <laughs> Don't pull it out right now. It's for later. Matt's oh giving me a look. Whoa, we can play Monopoly later, not now. Okay, moving on. So that we the Wii Shop music still going on. It's a perfect segue because the Wii Shop channel on the Nintendo Wii um, is closing on January thirtieth, twenty nineteen. Twenty nineteen, giving a solid like what sixteen months notice. Yeah, straight, <laughs> straight up though. The last day you'll be able to add Wii points uh, is on March twenty sixth, twenty eighteen. But you can still buy games until January thirtieth, twenty nineteen. Yep, it's yep. joining the Miiverse. Yep, into the Nintendo <laughs> graveyard. With all the services. I'm surprised this has lasted... Th- well, actually, no. I'm surprised that they're shutting this down, but not shutting down the Wii U. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> how many people are still buying Wii U digital games? Because they're shutting... With this, they're also shutting down, like, the Wii U transfer tool. And Oh, yeah. Yeah, so... Which you had to pay to transfer your games anyway, so I don't know how many people... You to pay? Yeah, you had to pay, the, like, a small fee, like a dollar or two. Oh, yeah, Depending on the that. game. Yeah, yeah, If you yeah. wanted it on Wii U. Yeah, yeah, I remember that now. So there was that, but... Um, it's a shame because there's so many good like WiiWare and just virtual console games that you haven't mm-hmm. been able to buy for like on any platform since they came out on the Wii yeah. Shop channel. I know one game, like Chrono Trigger, is on. Yeah, Chrono Trigger is there. It's only available on the Wii Virtual Console there, and like mm-hmm. I've never played the game, and I want to, but like now I'm kind of like on the fence here. Should I yeah. buy it now because it's going away or not? I don't know. And I'm, I'm wondering. They're saying it's the last day you can add Wii points is March, and you probably can't even buy those anymore, can you? Because the one. Uh, the ones that you, the cards that they have for Wii U and 3DS, they probably don't translate. Because the Matt, do you know if those are registered? Not. They're not registered in points. They're registered in dollars, right? Yeah. yeah so no. you probably just have to buy it off like using a credit. Yeah, card it was back. It was so. back in the day when you had like you would transfer money into points, or you had like Xbox 360 Microsoft mm-hmm. points, which were the worst form of currency ever. It's like eighty points is a dollar, and then you would always just be left with this like absurd, obtuse amount that made no sense because the mm-hmm. the prices were like two hundred forty Microsoft points for this for like Meat Super Meat Boy or whatever. It was so weird. It was a dollar. Yeah, I always hate like, when companies do that. Like, it was like, it was only like currency. Nintendo and Microsoft that did that. I'm like, <laughs> it makes no sense. But finally, they like yeah, it's so much easier to just do dollar. Yeah, they finally they like it. went on track here. But it sucks for the Wii Shop channel that. Well, it was going to happen eventually, so... Yeah, but for, like, the best-selling console, or one of the best-selling consoles ever, like, yes. for it to be ending just over a decade since its launch. It's going to be dead soon. Yeah. That means if you... I don't know if I should ever go back and, like, get anything, though, because you could probably buy some, like, SNES and, like, N64 games on there for way cheaper than you would ever right? get yeah, that's the, the actual thing. cartridge that's, for, so... Yeah, that's why you're probably better off right now, like, going mm-hmm. through and seeing what you want, but then again, you know... And plus, you. playing with a Wii remote is also really good. Like, playing yeah. with the remote sideways is, like, it's almost... Basically a, yeah, it's basically an SNES. It's controller. a great for, a role for NES games, yeah. And that classic controller. Ooh, I love that thing. Nice. But, yeah, there you go. Lit. Yeah. Rest in peace. Rip. Enjoy the next 15 seconds of Wii Shop music. Dun, dun, dun. I'm, doing the, I'm doing the funeral, or the death music. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, no. <laughs> Moving on. What is going on? Nothing. Okay. Um... Here's a dead it's game. Time for a weekly Overwatch segment. Here's a dead game. Uh, Overwatch. Salty. Hello. Right. Must be ha- Continue. <laughs> Do I have to edit that out too? <laughs> okay. What? 14, 14, 14. Fuck. Overwatch. Halloween. Halloween. Why is it spelled so weird? That's how it's spelled. No, I know, but it's just you know how it's like in like, general. You just want to know. Ask yeah, Mr. No, Halloween. I'm just, I'm just asking. Like, why <laughs> do they Mr. spell Halloween. it that David way? David S. Pumpkins. Ask him. Halloween. Like, how, why did they spell it that way? I don't know. Like nobody oh, says Halloween. Halloween. It's Halloween. You know. Hello. Halloween. Moving on. Halloween. Yeah. Moving on. Uh, the Overwatch Twitter account tweeted about a sev- seven-second video showcasing the return of the Halloween Terror event, which will begin on October 10th. The video will also showcase new skins for Reaper and McCree. That's, cool. I mean, lit. It, it was just like a gif, but not a gif. 
it was um it, yeah it just had like this still image of McCree and Reaper and yeah both of them had new skins McCree's looked more like a witch hunter kind of thing and Reaper's was he, it wasn't his pumpkin skin from last year it was like it was uh like he already has the skull mask but it didn't have a it was it, it kind of looked a bit longer and it didn't he didn't have his hood on so it looked real creepy I mean, when you say witch hunter, did you, did he have two swords on his back and were his nah, eyes I just, cats? Like, this is what I think a witch like, hunter would look like. And like, um, did he have to like kill undead things? Basically, I'm making Zombies? I'm making Witcher memes. That was you ever played The Witcher? I'm sorry, Witcher I through the Wild Hunt. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty sorry, good. I only Blood and games. wine. Hmm? Blood and wine. No, no, that was the DLC. The downloadable content. Yes. But I am excited, Mike. You didn't play it when how you weren't playing Overwatch I didn't back get it then. Till November. This is by far my favorite event ever, Halloween uh, Terror, just because Junkenstein's Revenge was so freaking amazing. Are they bringing that back to this? Episode, I would yeah. assume so because they did bring back Lucio Ball. They did, yeah, they did bring back Lucio Ball, and uh, Junkenstein's Revenge was just so good about being able to only like it was the first PVE anything in Overwatch, mm-hmm. so. Uh, when when it happened last year, you could only it was for four players, and you pick between Anna, uh, Hanzo, Soldier, and McCree, and you would pretty much just fight um, Junkrat as he would bring in a bunch of drones, and then throughout the uh, throughout the game, you would have AI of Reaper and Mercy and Roadhog, and they were like way more powerful than an actual AI would be. Naturally, so you everyone would have to like team up on them, and it got really hard if you were going to like the harder difficulty. Like it was, it was ridiculously difficult, mm, but I'm, it's I'm really super fun. I'm, I'm not sure if they'll actually uh, like rearrange that. I'm pretty sure they're gonna allow you to do like customize the loadout for this time around because when Uprising was um, happening it was earlier this year, right? It was yeah. indeed. Yeah, like when that April. went on, they had the um, regular PVE mode where you could only play as like Reinhardt and, and the other three, like Torbjorn, Tracer, and Mercy, and, the and then one. yeah, who you could pick anyone. That wasn't uh, around last year, so I would assume they're going to do the same thing, and that'd be really cool because Good. It'll... so you play as Mercy. Yeah, you could. Well, you're already fighting Mercy, anyways. The Witch Mercy, which so you, you don't can... you don't have the skin of, do you? You can play Mercy and fight Mercy at the same time. Oh, you don't have the Witch Mercy skin though. I don't. It's a great skin. Well, you know what? I wasn't around at the time, so. Mm. Are you excited to play? Are you actually going to come back to Overwatch and play? Maybe. I'm like right, once I finish Metroid, I have nothing to play until like you know that that day, October twenty seventh or whatever. So like maybe I will come back into it. I've been wanting to come back into play the Mercy, but I still haven't changed. Haven't tried. And they've already changed her. Yeah, they have uh, on the PTR. They yeah, changed her. they're uh, her cooldown for her res during her ultimate. I believe is yeah, what it was. Yeah. So yeah. So if you pop your alt and then your your things usually before like if your alt not your alt your um the res ability was on cooldown and you popped your alt it would reset mm-hmm. but now it doesn't do that anymore. I don't know if it stays at ten seconds. I I, I have just sworn seen. it didn't, but I don't know. We'll yeah, see. I don't know. But yeah, so they definitely nerfed it. But hey, it's probably for the best. Everybody was saying how it was dominating the game now. Like you see a mercy in every game, which yeah, mercy is good for me. But there's always a mercy and a diva in every match. Well, but that happens when you change characters yeah, too. You gotta I, expect that. But yeah, I started playing again like two weeks ago for the Junker Town map, and then I'm, I told myself I'm gonna give myself a break so that way I don't burn out right before Junk or um, but, Halloween comes out. But but what did you did you actually use? A break? Uh, I, yeah, I did give myself nice. a good self control because Golf Story came out, so I just wow. played like and Picross nine hours. Golf Story, that. yeah, and Picross. More importantly, Picross. Picross S. Picross. Of course, my bad, my bad. But my bad. Uh, I'm just so excited for Halloween Terror now. Next week, yeah, October 10th. So, do you need to do people four? Or can you have like two? It randos? has to be four. Oh well, no, you don't need a group. You can you can just like oh, but yeah, can you do two with people? anybody? Because like everybody else no. left. <laughs> oh well, if people do leave, I'm pretty sure you're just stuck there with. Your other person? <laughs> mm, no, I mean like everybody else that plays on PS4 with us left. What do you mean? Oh, you mean us personally? Yes, because well, personal. there was a game with Destiny Two. Yeah, I know. Yeah, they kind of. Yeah. Mm. But I'm excited for Junk and Science Revenge to come yes, back. Me too. Well, I'm too excited to actually try McCree it. McCree was awesome there though because when you had High Noon, you would pretty much get like 78. Yeah, I remember like, watching video kills. of it. He like they <laughs> was getting monster kills. Mm-hmm. Like I remember you telling me that Lucy Boy was really cool, and then I played Lucy Ball, it and is. it wasn't really cool. I was really Trust bored. Me, this one is so. Amazing. If you're, I don't know, I think it was Green Assault, but yeah, no. In all seriousness, yeah, I'm definitely excited to try it out. Yeah, because it's pretty much like the Uprising one, where it is PVE, but yeah. instead of like escorting a payload, you're trying, you're just like blocking them from breaking into the doors. Yeah, and I love the Uprising one. I always play as Mercy, obviously, because Mercy's Bay, and then you know, life, life went on. <laughs> 
Are we done? Oh no, uh, yeah, hopefully. I think we're done talking about Overwatch. I didn't want to talk. No, I don't. I don't know. You don't like Overwatch? Not really. It's not your thing. No. Okay. okay. Moving on. Moving on. Hey, you know that one guy? That can, I like, love him. That that can like shrink real small. Ant Man? No, the other one. I'm the Ant Man counterpart in the um, other universe. B Man? No. What? B Man. The Wasp? Uh, no. <laughs> It's like an, a mix between... Black Panther. Nope. Iron Black Man. Black Adam. It's like, no. The Adam. Yes. White Adam. <laughs> there it is. Well, the Adam. Circle. Adam, like Adam... And Eve. I'm, th- I'm trying to think of a West? Adam, but I can't think of one. West? Adam West. Is that a Flash character? That sounds like a Flash character. Uh-huh. Rest in peace. Mm-hmm. Iris West. Is that her brother? So the Adam's coming to Injustice. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, yeah. I, do you like his costume? I love it. It's... Uh, it's not Ray Palmer. It's Ryan Choi, I believe, is Choi? the Fuck the Choi. Adam that's coming there. And, yeah, it's more comics-oriented because I totally thought... Because when you look at Injustice 2 and they have all the silhouettes of the future DLC characters, one of them is just a really small silhouette of, a, of like, a man. So yeah. it was clearly, clearly obvious that it was going to be Adam. So when I thought that they were going to do it, they're normally... Uh, leaning towards like TV and movie uh, DC properties, so the way that those designs look, and I totally thought they were just going to go the way that the Adam looks in Legends of Tomorrow, mm. which they completely didn't. They actually went full comics, which I love. I really love the costume. I'm surprised they don't have, um, considering the like the popularity of these shows now, um, and now they're like there's four of them. Um, I'm surprised that they're not throwing in more of the like the the CW. Costumes. They did it for the first one. No, I know they did. Like, yeah, for, they actually for, got Stephen Amell to do voice lines and everything for yeah. Green Arrow. And Sorry. well, I think it's just the nature of the way that Injustice Two was, where it was like all about customizing your gear and shit, rather than just having making full on different skins. No, of course. Yeah, so I feel like if they did have just like skin A, skin B, skin C, you would have seen more of that. But they leaned towards way more like the customizable side. So I guess yeah. that's the reason why. I mean, there are some things in um, Injustice 2 where they're like that. For example, um, the Flash, you have the Reverse Flash, and then you also have Jay Garrick. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the Green Lantern is... Uh, oh my goodness, I cannot remember his name. Wow, I'm blanking. It's the other Green Lantern. Yeah. Um, actually, the Green Lantern that I grew up with as a kid. Um, and also, Raiden is also Black Lightning that yeah. they showed off to. So. Yeah, yeah. And Supergirl's Power Girl. It's Power Girl, yeah. Superman's Bizarro. Mm-hmm. But regardless, I mean, like, it does have those things, so I yeah. mean, it would make sense. Um, if they did, I would absolutely love it and, like, appreciate just it. Do, like, Ray Palmer Ant-Man? Yeah. No, I mean, like, just, like they just oh, threw yeah. all of that in there, you know what I'm saying? Like, Firestorm, it would actually be, um, you know, Martin Stein and... Uh, Jax from oh yeah yeah from DC Legends of Tomorrow good show by the way it, have you seen the trailer for Adam's gameplay I have not oh, it's really like it's so cool he's like so dynamic and fluid just like can, like continuously like shrinking and growing back it like it doesn't look wonky at all in the well in the way that they presented it in the trailer it actually yeah. looks really nice so because hmm. with Marvel vs Capcom Infinite that just came out people would have people were guessing like maybe Ant Man will be there because they are focusing on the MCU stuff. But he was nowhere to be found, and also not in the upcoming DLC character. So it's rare. We haven't seen any kind of character in a fighting game like this before, especially in a 2D fighting game like this. Hmm. Seems like that game was kind of a disappointment. Question uh, mark. Marcus, what do you see. think? Well, as a fan who yeah, I had no motivation to buy it from being a Marvel fan and a Marvel vs. Capcom fan, that's why I'll probably wait until either a price drop or an inevitable ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. So. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. Cool. Makes sense. But Adam looks cool. I would love to play it, but DLC characters are just so expensive for Injustice. Yeah. Did you buy the Smash ones? I did, but those were Smash. much cheaper, and you got it on two platforms, and you got a stage with it. Rather than this being not, $7 actually not for much a cheaper. I think it was about like five, six, seven dollars around that. But all the stuff that you got out of it. But it also helps that Smash Bros. is like my one of my favorite games ever. But now this is what, like $7 a character? $8, yeah. Fuck And me, if you want to really? buy like the entire pack with them, because I just have the standard edition of the game, yeah. and it's an extra like 50 bucks if you want all the extra DLC characters. Just, and then they also have microtransactions, and then it's like, wow. Yeah, the loot crates. And, yeah. And then you're poor. Yeah. So, it's fine. So, I'll just wait. Yeah. 
Um, all right, another fighting game. I actually just move into Street Fighter Five. Um, Capcom has announced Street Fighter Five. It's coming to the Xbox One. I'm kidding. No. Um, they're actually announced Street Fighter Five Arcade Edition um, with the release date of January sixteenth, twenty eighteen. Um, the game will include all season one and two characters, an arcade mode, an extra battle mode, and new V triggers. Yep. Yeah. The game will launch uh, will be released on PS4 and Steam or PC for forty US dollars. Um, so about sixty bucks here. Uh, all of the new modes uh, in the arcade edition will be available for owners of Street Fighter Five as a free update, which is good because normally yeah. they usually piss people off. Like for example, Mortal Kombat X, the Mortal Kombat, and then they made everybody spend like you know roughly 150 something dollars for either for the Ultimate Edition, um, for which was 120, or for like the two fifty dollar season passes, uh, which was bullshit on top of the seventy dollar game. Um, and then they came out with Mortal Kombat XL, and they're like, "Fuck you guys, same price for everything that you just bought." Yeah, so people were really disappointed last year with Street Fighter V because it didn't have an arcade mode at all. It barely had anything. Yeah, it, uh, it, yeah, it launched really light on characters too. It was like six characters. Or, no, it wasn't six. No. It was like around like eight or twelve, I think. Something like that. Yeah, and they kept releasing like four at a time with like different uh, packs, which game, they were yeah. consistent of. But um, without launching with an arcade mode, I think kind of hurt it a bit in terms of the more casual audience. The pros play just fine, but. That it was also kind of a, I don't know the messaging on that game was really all over the place because back in the day when it came out, it I believe it actually didn't even sell better than Pokemon Tournament when that came out on Wii U. Mm-hmm. No, the game the game yeah. did very poorly. Like, yeah, I, I people might attribute it to it not being on Xbox as well, but I doubt it. I don't think that would have like helped it like egregiously. I think no, it wouldn't have. No, I think the fact that Capcom just kind of whiffed it with. Not launching with an arcade mode, having few characters, having like the mixed messaging of like a lot of the characters are just going to be DLC, but it, they did do a good job of like you can either just buy the characters outright or you have like flight money that you get in the game and buy them, which was cool. Like, I, I like when games do that when you can actually earn characters with in game credits that you don't have to just like they don't like like mobile game you where you have yeah. to just like pay for everything. Yeah. Mobile game you. Mm hmm. I mean, it's basically what it is. Yeah, the term point. was just coined right now by Marcus. Yeah. But it's cool, like, a cheaper version of it, too. You're not just paying, like, full price again for the same thing. And it's a cheaper version for people who didn't buy it with extra content that you're actually getting for free if you already own the original. Of course. So it's cool. Will it help Street Fighter Five get back into, like, the mainstream no. for, like, casuals? Probably not. not. Um, Capcom, I don't know what they're doing with, like, this. And then Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. It sucks. I, I'll I, tell like, you what they're doing. They're fucking up. Mm-hmm. They're pulling a the Nintendo and shooting themselves in the foot. Just put the game on Switch. Like Ultra Street Fighter Two, like destroyed there. <laughs> right. Just put Okami on Switch. Put everything on Switch. Mm-hmm. Fuck. They even have Wolfenstein and Doom and Skyrim That's, coming on Switch. It's not Capcom. I know. I'm just saying. But like, you can do That's it. Like, look at these games. Like, you Capcom. can do it. Like, people. People should like companies should look at this yeah, and be like, fuck. There's these games coming out. Like, we can. Yeah. Do Street this. Fighter Five is a different story, but Marvel vs. Capcom should be there. I know. I'm just. I use those games as an example yeah. because those are trip. You know, those are good sized games. But, and also, like, like, if you have a game like Wolfenstein and Doom running on there, a fighting game should probably like. I'm not. I'm not a fucking developer, but I'm pretty sure like a game like that yeah. isn't like. It's, it's not. Yeah. It's not too graphically With, intensive. A game like Pokémon is on there just fine. So yeah, it's not too graphically intensive. The only thing that really needs to be loaded are the two character models with very precise hitboxes. Mm. Um, other than that, you need high frame rate, so you just don't load the background, and that's it. Like now, guys, really if Picross S can run on the Switch, they could bring, could bring like Destiny Two. Honestly, Mike Picross can run in your friggin' Nokia. Damn, mm-hmm. he's probably right. Yeah, that was the joke. Gosh. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, hey, Marcus, what have you been playing this week? I've uh, been playing more of that golf story. Ah, uh, yeah. Yep. Do you have a story about hitting balls into holes? About golf. About ball golf, that is. Ball, the other type yeah. of golf? Oh, no, because the, um, the disc golfers in the game, when they, mm. they refer to disc golf as golf, but then when you talk about when... Because you're an actual like ball golf player. Right. So they refer to golf as ball golf. <laughs> they get like real disappointed when you find out that you're a ball golfer and not a disc golfer. Did wow. you buy a disc? Did I buy a disc? Yeah. Oh, uh, I forget if I bought a disc or if I just found one. But uh, you don't like keep a disc on you, as far as I know. From yeah, you where do. I, am in the I game. bought a disc. I bought. You know, I had one, but it just refers back to like throwing ra- like actual balls than discs. 
You might need to equip it. Probably. Because I bought, I bought a disc, and I also bought uh, clubs. I thought they equipped yeah. it automatically. They don't. But when this you game, first said that, I thought you meant like a game disc, and I was very confused. Matt, you've been playing this too, right? I have. Yeah, I I'm have indeed. nine hours in right now. Just beat the first like uh, tournament in the game, so... I just un- I beat that and just unlocked the next area of the map that um, opens up about like three or four more courses. Hmm. So I haven't gone to any of those yet. I just um, beat that course today, and I found a really cool Easter egg. I don't want to spoil it for you just yet. Yeah, don't I'll let spoil you find it. it. Yeah. Um, but man, I love this game. It's one of my favorites of the year so far. It Definitely is really like my top. I don't even know if I played like ten games that came out this year. This year, so like probably top five. Um, wow. But it's excellent. The game does have bugs. You you guys both saw I was playing here. Yeah, this guy was just sitting here playing. He was on. He was like two strokes in par uh, par five. It was on hole five actually. The game just froze. Yeah, it's she, just like what? Like the girl like took the. She was like readying up. She put the club back and it never came back down. <laughs> the music yeah. step, uh, kept on playing. It's basically yeah. couldn't handle her swing. But, obviously, yeah. That I also noticed. Like some of the speech um, bubbles are also kind of wonky for me because um, I've had some that keep repeating themselves. Which is really weird. Mm, I haven't found that yet, but mm. but that's um that's just minor stuff though. Nothing like game breaking. But you aside, just said the game froze. It's nothing game. It's yeah, not game you breaking. Set it, though. But like, and I was playing a free play, not an actual um, oh, okay. campaign. So, um, but aside from like the gameplay, I didn't talk much about the writing and like the actual dialogue last weekend. This game, uh, we talked about Paper Mario a couple months back, and how I love the writing in that game. This like trounces that. The story Damn. is like so like campy. And like people related, people um, who I've been seeing online have like just related to some like random like anime BS. It's <laughs> kind of what it is. It's just so funny. Like it's like collusion going on in the golf course. <laughs> but, like one, like yeah. the head, like the head of the course is like um, like trying to sell like fake clubs to people. That's so great. Like, it's it's just, just so weird, but it's so funny to like explore. Yeah. It's just like, like he, what? the coach that you want to train you. He doesn't want anything to do with you, even though you're like way better than all of his pupils and all of his students. It's just so good. And, like, the animations for, like, the actual, like, text bubbles. I've never seen this in a game. They're, like, so, Matt, you know, they're, like, so fucking, like, eccentric. And yeah. they, they just match it so perfectly. Like, because with just a uh, 16-bit style, like, SNES RPG, yeah, you don't really... You, like, you would normally just get, like, text scrolling. You guys have been playing like, SNES Classics, so you just see, like, like, just flat text here. It's just so, like, animated and everything. The bubbles pop up on you, and you're just yeah. like, wait. And then this is actually very quick and responsive. Like, mm-hmm. you know some games you're sitting through fucking text, and you're just like, bro, let's go, and it doesn't respond to you? Yeah. Like, this game is very fluid and very nice. And, and you, yeah. like, for a game of just golf, you actually want to, like, pay attention to the story just because it's funny and just, like, it's st- something you've never really seen in a game before. And they keep calling each other mate. Like, I'm very confused. Yeah. Actually, we, we were saying it's, it was from the London, or from the UK. It's actually from Australia. That I makes more sense yeah. now. Yeah, that makes more sense. <laughs> we're just racist. Uh, <laughs> not really. No, we're just ignorant. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 100%. Word to use. Man, I'm loving this game. Uh, I was looking online, and it, apparently people are averaging about 15 hours to complete it. So it's, a about long, it's a long game. There. Yeah, but it's just super fun just to play this game like it to me it so far hasn't gotten old it is getting more challenging though with like the different courses so Ooh. yeah because you have uh, each world you go into well i've noticed so far there's been like a different animal in each world that like screws with you so like, like in the first world you have like moles that if you you there's like animals uh set out throughout the course whenever you're playing and there's like little dotted circles around uh a radius where you're where you could throw or where you could put the ball into and then the animal would just like just take your ball and screw with it or whatever. Damn so animals. in the first one, there's moles. They'll take your ball, put it into bunkers and whatnot. Uh, one of the courses has turtles in the um, in the ocean. And if you hit if you hit your ball into like the dotted circle, a turtle will come up from the ocean and then give your ball even more distance, so that way you can put it further. So it's a good thing. Yeah. So like the That's turtles confusing. are good. How do you know? And then, well, because you'll know you're not going to get moles in the fucking <laughs> in the water. Good then point. you have birds in Cheeky Beak Peak, which is another Cheeky one. Beak Peak. There's like five different colors of birds or something like that, and they all do different things. So there's so much like going on in this game. I love it, Mike. You should really play. It. I know you don't like golf. I, I but, don't like golf, but it, but even that, it's naturally like a really good golf game too. Yeah, but I don't like golf. You know what I really like as well about this game? <laughs> the fact that this also does like you were saying come with a free mode, so that um, yes, this game is funny and and everything like that. It's just like, hey, what kind of two player games do you have on your Switch? Do I play golf? Yeah. Fuck yeah, I'm in. 
you know, it gives you that opportunity for you to give your controller to somebody else. You just hit, you know, go at nine holes, and you're just like, all right. I've also been playing Mike, you know. The best game. Pie Cross, Pick Cross, P Cross, S. Yeah. Also what? on the Switch. How Whatever. lit is that game? Whatever it's the fuck that is. freaking amazing. Uh, so good. So, Mike, describe Pie Cross for people yeah, who don't is know. It like it's, it's, like, it's like a number-based crossword puzzle. Oh, fuck Pretty Sudoku. much, yeah. It's not Sudoku, though. It's it doesn't not. matter about like where the numbers are because you're not dealing with numbers. You're dealing with pixels and like dots. Yeah. And the squares. numbers are the hints of where yeah. to put the pixels. So you're pretty much just trying to make like after all this, you're making like an actual image by the mm-hmm. end of the thing, by the end of the puzzle. Mm-hmm. Sudoku makes me want to. Uh, Sudoku's amazing. Don't talk yeah, shit on no. Sudoku. Sudoku makes me want to do some Baku. But yeah, there's what 300 puzzles in the game, out of yeah 150 for both kinds. So I fi- I like. Having the game for like five days, I completed the 150 of regular Pie Cross. Did I you just, catch all 151? Yeah, nice. <laughs> but is there's still more to see. It is. Nice. I just love Pie Cross games. Yeah. When we were talking about it last week, they're just so fun. Like apparently, I did it. So I averaged about doing like what 30 something like every day since. Catch them, catch them, gotta it's catch just, them all. Gotta catch them all. Funky it's mud. so easy to just start playing and just play. Yeah, because I go to the next like, one. Go to the next watching one. Watching a show or listening to a podcast, and I still like. Yeah, I just blaze yeah. through them. I love just doing blaze. it at night. Like I'll just pull the light in my bed, like listening to music, and I'm playing it on my pick cross, and I'll just, you just listen play to that. Imagine fall asleep. dragons, night visions. Yeah, I'm falling I'll asleep. Just, just do that till I fall asleep. You know, it's lit. And I wake up, and that's the first thing I do in the morning. I have my switch right mm-hmm. next to me on my bed. And yeah, just, those two. I've just been swapping through those two. Also, Stardew Valley came out yeah, yesterday today. or today. Well, well yesterday when this came out, yeah. and I really I haven't played that when it came out. Well, obviously when I was on PC or when it came out to PlayStation Xbox. And Switch is, like, perfect for that. Yeah, everybody says it's, like, a really so fun I re- I'm I definitely going to buy that, and it's pretty cheap, too, here. Yeah, I'm, I'm a fan of a farm game, so yeah. I might check it out. Oh, so what's with farming and not with golf? I don't know. I'm a weird guy, man. You, you should know this. Axiom Bridge came out, too, today. Oh, yeah, Axiom Bridge. That's been out for yeah, a while. Yeah, I'm saying on Switch. Gosh. Okay, guys, we're going to wrap some Pokemon. We are not going to wrap some Pokemon. You'll just do the singing, and I'll take care of the hard part. Let's get, a, let's get it on... It's, it is what that says, though. Do you see the trailer for the new Pokemon movie? No. It looks really good because normally, like, this is like the twentieth one, I think. Nice. Twenty. And oh my god. It's <laughs> yeah. They've been <laughs> pretty like because they like follow they follow through the generations that they're in. So, yeah, but it's yeah. not Gen Seven. It's a remake of the like first oh, yeah, yeah, few yeah, yeah, episodes yeah. of like when um, Ash meets Pokemon. When he, when he meets Pokemon himself. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. When, so Mr. It, Pokemon. It's like Mr. Just, Pokemon. Apparently it's in like an alternate universe, but like some of the same events happen where Ash like just gets uh, Pikachu, but like Pikachu hates him at first, and then Pikachu like saves him from a bunch of Spearow that want to attack in. Then he sees ho in the front, or in like the, fir- the back. <laughs> he meets ho at the end of the first episode. But apparently it goes on, because also in the trailer they showed off, had that episode where the Charmander, uh, his, the Charmander's trainer... Like abandons him in the rain, and the Charmander won't leave. But he, uh, if he doesn't leave, his tail's gonna go out, and then he's gonna die. Because Mike, as you know, if a Charmander's of flame on its tail goes out, it dies. So it was showing like classic moments from the show. Wait, wait, wait! But how do they take showers then? They don't. So back, yeah, it was just showing classic moments of uh, like the original series, but it also showed him uh, going like further off into like different regions from later generations. So it actually looks pretty cool. And yeah, it's like I have a question: Is Pikachu a guy or girl? Both. I think a- a- well, Ashes is a guy. P- uh, female Pikachu's have hearts for their tails. Right. Up until Gen Four, actually. I think, right? No, it's mm-hmm. still like that. No, no, no I, mean, do... I mean, like, that's when they introduced oh, it, right? Yeah, like, in the games, that's when you could, like, notice that. Yeah. Wait, yeah. I, I have a question, though. How do Pokemon reproduce? Like, is it, like, so only... So, nobody, nobody... Like, can only be two Pikachus? Put, or can you okay. have, like, a Pikachu and a Squirtle? No, you can listen, have a nobody, a nobody ever actually... What's the baby? Listen, nobody actually ever knows how they, like, reproduce. Right. Some... So, basically, the way this works is you put two Pokemon, mm-hmm. um, normally, of the same... You know, species. Species. Um, Breed. You know, but like, you can have like a Snorlax and a Kitty. Those or a Skitty. Those can like. Make but what are they? Or a, wh- it's on, a whale on. lord and a Skitty can yeah, actually yeah. make. Hang on, I'll, I'll explain it to you. So you put them okay. in a daycare, or you know, and uh, daycare. You walk around. It is actually a daycare. Yeah, no, it's a Pokemon daycare. And daycare. Um, and then you go back into the daycare x amount of time later, and the and the keeper turns to you and says, "So I'm not really sure what happened, but I found this Pokemon egg, so you can have it." Yeah. And then you ride your bike along a path for like 
20 minutes. Yeah, because you need to have, like, a certain amount of steps. Yeah, and you use the bike because you, you make, you know, you go faster. But, like, you probably don't know how to use the bike, so you just, like, walk through it the don't. entire time. That's okay. Anyway, so, eventually the egg will hatch, and then you get a Pokemon. But what kind of Pokemon is it? I, I, it's it's, usually, it's yeah. probably, like, one of the ones that mated. Yeah. So, there's no, like, cross-contamination of genes? No, no, no. no. I don't think that's how life works. But uh, at, well, if you do it, you can when you when you uh, when you mate certain Pokemon together, mm-hmm. they won't like cross combine and like make a like a Pika Squirtle. <laughs> Pika Squirtle. But say you have like a Pikachu and like something else, it, the P, the Pikachu or Pichu or whatever that hatches will actually have like maybe different moves. So some Pokemon can't learn specific moves while leveling up. You have to actually breed them with another Pokemon to create another Pokemon that'll have that move that you can only get by breeding. Yeah, you, so ever want your, you ever want your Squirtle to have uh, uh, Dragon Tail? Yeah, now you can. Mm-hmm. Just breed it with a Charmander or a Charizard. Battoms. Shout out to Pycross. Yeah, anyway. Nice. Moving on. Solid. Tenet, uh, Electro, Diglett, Nidoran, Mankey, Venusaur, Rattata, Pharaoh, Pidgey, Seeking, Jolteon, Dragonite, and Ghastly, Ponyta, Vaporeon, Polyrath, and Butterfree. Gotta, gotta, gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all. Pokemon. Pokemon. Yu-Gi-Oh. Right. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z. Moving on. Ba-dumps. Mike, what have you played this week? Um, more of the same. Some more Metroid. Some cool. More Picross S. Did cool. you beat Metroid yet? I am at the final boss. Is it Ridley? I- it, uh, spoiler alert! It is. Ooh, big spoiler for a Wait, Metroid game. What, what, what would you say? I asked if it was Ridley, like Ripley's Aquarium. Yes, Ripley's. Close. Believe it or not, Ridley. Perfect. I got to that, that boss for like three days ago, but I haven't had a chance to play. Was it, it a giant fish? No. Oh, it was a giant bird. It's a like a pterodactyl. Oh, yes. According to to Zelda logic, um, but he's fish too. evolve into birds. So, but he's too big for he's too big to be in Smash Bros. But yeah. they only evolve into bird when the world gets flooded with water. Yeah. So, yeah, because that makes sense, right? Yeah, right, yeah. Revali's Gale. Gale. Revali. Revali. Revali's Gale. Sure. Revali's Gale is ready. Is now ready. Mean Disgrace <laughs> is ready. Don't do that. Grace is ready. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. <laughs> All of you. So, yeah. No, no, no. Sorry, it's Mifa's Grace. It's not Minda. Oh, fuck. Midna. So, yeah, that's, that's been me. How about you, Matt? Uh, so I work like 40 to 50 hours a week. So, oh, alright, great excuses. What did you play? <laughs> so I played some Golf Story, and I played this game, it's called Sleep. Nice. Yeah. That's one of my favorites. It's yeah. Game of the Year. Game of the Year 2017. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, uh, I played Monopoly as well. Nice. It did you, did you pass go and get to did you win? So did you finish I, the game? <laughs> so I, um, I ended up in jail seven times. Just like real life. Yeah, Ooh. more or less. True and, story. And then my internet cut out, and I lost connection, and See? then everybody left. Yeah, because like a weird little boy, you're playing it on the internet instead yeah. of just taking out the damn board. That's well, we're all be good for a Switch version, though. You can just like carry around your Switch with That's you, and true. there you go. It's a board. Right yeah. on, put it on the table. There you oh, go. Yeah. You don't even need a television. Yep. The, with the power of Nintendo Switch, you just take it out the airport, you know? You press some blonde chicks sitting next to you. Remember in the commercial? Oh, like, yeah, hey, you want to play Monopoly like together? That's how, that's how real life works. You yeah. just go up to your stranger and be like, play this video game with me. <laughs> or, you're, or you're like Karen and you bring it to like your friend's mm-hmm. party. And everybody's like, Karen oh, again. I was Karen today. You guys were talking and I'm like, I've had enough of this. And I just had <laughs> a <laughs> golf store. <laughs> Sounds about right. No, that's not what Karen did. Everyone's got a Karen in them. Everyone's been Karen at one point, wh- wh- whoever has a Switch. I'm Karen every single day of my life. Think about you that. just don't talk. Are you carrying your switch? I actually brought my uh, switch to school the other day, and I was just playing in the hallway. And like, you know, did anyone just, come up school. to you? No. Or did they I've actually had avoid I've, you. I've, I've had it happen to me. Uh, I was hanging out playing my switch on like the first or second day that it ever came out, and it was like March third or March fourth. I was hanging out at school. You know what? It was March third because it was a Friday. <laughs> school in twenty seventeen. Yeah, and. Uh, uh, I had this. I had a couple of people come up and be like, "Yo, is that a Nintendo Switch?" I'm like, "It is." Can I see it? No. Why? Because I just spent seven hundred and something dollars. Why would I let you touch this? Of all wow, things? you're a piece of yeah. garbage, man. Doesn't and then help you know, what I've done just taking off a Joy-Con and be like, "Here, yeah, you I know. touch this." You no. literally like actively denied what Nintendo wanted you to do. Yeah, by, like yeah. sharing the joy. Yeah. You're like, Con. I want all the joy for myself. Yeah, I, I, I did. Did you guys get off. SNES classics? You didn't play those. I, I've been look. It's set up. Yeah, I know. You. I know, but I, asked, I, didn't I actually didn't them. even open mine yet. Yeah. I, I wanted to finish Metroid first. So you don't want to take the Final have... Fantasy bet now? This 
I was going to take the Final Fantasy bet with no. you, but then someone decided to pull out. It's a bad bet. For you, yeah, because you know I can do it. Not even that. It's just, it's no, I'll do it if you get the original copy. Because you get, like, save states and you get that rewind feature. That's not fair. That's not fair. That's not an actual version <laughs> of the game. It's not fair. Hey, that was the deal. I've been playing a lot of Mario Bros. Nice. That's not an SNES game, Matt. What, what do you mean? Mario Bros. Oh, my God. Here we go. Come on. Actually... Are you talking about the arcade archives that, like, you bet Mike would be over 20 bucks? No. And you lost, and you had to pay me McDonald's. Remember I that? did. I did pay you that already. A nice McRap because of you. Thank you. You're welcome. It's you funny can. because you're like, oh, I don't feel like having a meal today. I'm like, but well, this counts, right? And you're like, yeah. I'm like, okay, cool. You also owe me just something. I don't owe you anything, white boy. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to you. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah. Nice. That was a weird, awkward silence. So you then, then, Okay. Just adding the Wii Shop music there for just like four seconds. So it's like... Dun, 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 be lucky dun, if I remember to dun, put dun, in the theme song. Solid. This podcast has come down to us just oh, making random sounds. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, here are the arms. Oh, oh, oh. oh Hill. Mr. Hill. I need a weapon. Now, finish this fight. Jeez. Hashtag cringeworthy. Hashtag... We have gone totally off the rails. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, the rails were over there. Like, we're over there. Fuck train has no brakes. Yee. Woo woo. Woot woot. So this... I think this is a good time to call it. Mm -hmm. Call what? Everybody, thank you so much for listening. To call me, maybe. Much appreciated. Here's Um, my number. Shut up, Mike. So call me, maybe. Mitha's grace is ready. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I want that as a ringtone. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. So anyway, thank you guys so much for listening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. There was maybe one word in there. <laughs> so thank you so much for listening. Have a wonderful night. Email us at nothingbutgamespodcast at gmail.com. I don't know why we picked such a long damn email, but it's fine. Because we're dumb. Yeah, we are. <coughs> Same. Me. And, um, yeah. Take care. Deuces. Bye-bye. Curve. Chip cheerio. Chip cheerio.